Beispiel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can expose external access for the cast and dashboard using Kubernetes Ingress. By default, no external networking is configured, leaving the dashboard accessible only via port forward. On docs.caston.io, we see there are multiple additional options for external connectivity, including Kubernetes load balancers and OpenShift routes, both of which we'll explore in separate videos. Configuring an ingress for the cast and dashboard can be accomplished using Helm settings during either initial installation or at any point post install. Since I've already deployed Kasten, I'm first going to capture my existing Helm settings and save them in a YAML file. And now we can start modifying that manifest with the settings required to generate our ingress resource. First, I need to set ingress.create equal to true. Next, we'll specify the class of the ingress controller, and this is going to be specific to the ingress implementation you're using in your environment. Additionally, if I was using external DNS to point a specific host name to our cast and installation, I could use ingress.host to specify that fully qualified domain name. As there are many different options for ingress controllers, ingress behavior for specific implementations is controlled via annotations on the resource. After reviewing the documentation for my specific ingress controller, in this case, the AWS application load balancer, I've determined that I require these additional annotations to ensure that traffic is being routed to my application pods, is available over the internet, and will accept HTTP codes of 200 or 302 or 303 for redirections to an external authentication page. If I had a valid TLS certificate installed in my cast and IO namespace for a signed secure connection to my dashboard, I could use these two Helm parameters to specify the secret storing that certificate. Ingress path type can be set as implementation specific, prefix, or exact to configure the matching behavior of the ingress record. Again, this is going to vary on the ingress controller being used. In the case of the AWS application load balancer I'm using in this example, I need to explicitly set this to prefix to ensure all paths starting with slash K10, my Helm release name, are routed to my application. If I were to apply this configuration as is, my update of my cast and installation would fail. And this is because the chart will not allow you to configure external access without first enabling some form of authentication. We'll explore options for dashboard authentication in additional videos, and for the sake of simplicity, we'll enable authentication based on Kubernetes bearer tokens for this example. Now that I've saved my values manifest file, I'm ready to run a Helm upgrade to apply the new settings. Note that I'm also specifying my current installed version of the Kasten chart, as I only wish to update my configuration, not apply a newer version of Kasten if it were available. Now that I see my pods have reached a ready state again, let's view the status of our ingress. And now if I try to open this in my browser, I should be prompted by a token login page. Again, to simplify the example, I'll generate a temporary token for our K10 service account, as it already has the appropriate cluster role and bindings to access cast and resources. And that's it. 
With a simple Helm upgrade, we've exposed access to the cast and dashboard on the network. Be sure to check out other videos in this series for tips and tricks getting started with Kasten, and visit the link on screen to claim your free Kasten license today. Thanks for watching.